this is your brother Bolo VNR and um, we're going to review a video from Pastor Peter Chambers, Apostle Prophet Pastor Peter Chambers. Um, that was done four years ago. That was 2020. I don't know if this was before the election or if it was after the general election. So let's get into the content. Remember to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. All right. <clears throat> All the links are there on my page when you open all of my pages bolo vnr bolo vnr clips or bolo vnr 2.0 all right let's get into it <clears throat> pleasant morning one and all this is your reverend apostle peter chambers once more praise god with another word and um i would like to declare because i, I believe some folks they have misunderstood what i mean by another it means that god is speaking to me on a constant basis and i'm not doing the videos hallelujah to be seen for publicity i'm just a voice hallelujah i could have gotten hallelujah this publicity from the time that ian boyan wanted me to be on his show and i turned it down because the time was not yet come glory be to god normally on a sunday i do a video but god spoke to me again with his concern to the pm and minister desmond mackenzie glory be to god and the lord spoke to me and he said Tell tonight we are going well, to I did, it's so serious. the most anticipated match in the history of professional wrestling for the heavyweight championship of the world are you ready wrestling fans are you ready for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world from the capital city of the United States of America this man get caught in coffee didn't get serious I know uh, let's get ready to rumble <laughs> alright ready no ready no pasta we have no pasta we have no pasta but God spoke to me mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. with his concern to the PM yeah. and Minister Desmond Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, Tell Minister Desmond, hallelujah, Mackenzie, mm -hmm. that the season for repentance is now, hallelujah, because judgment, hallelujah, is knocking at your door. But hold on there. Desmond. Somebody tag this man Mackenzie there, aren't you honest? A fool, you're going to pass that alone this, you know? You're not repent it. Judgment and knock on the door, you know? Backside. And I want a random video of my fight. I don't even know what i call Well, yes, I hear him say this man Mackenzie with you. And I hear him say Andrew Wallace. And I say, what? This man Mackenzie, Andrew Wallace. I say, hold on, let me try this video. Because I'm busy. Let me see what I'm going on every day because Desmond Mackenzie and Andrew Wallace are two big names in the government. You know. So make we hear what Pastor have said. Hey, Pat W, let's see what I'm going The Lord said, Repent quickly. Hallelujah. Because I will begin to expose who you are, the evil that you have done. The destruction that came your way from the people in your region. Hallelujah. Parts of God's people are crying out. The Lord gave me a parable for you, Minister Desmond Mackenzie. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you this parable. There was a great king, Uri Baba Sata, who had many, hallelujah, representatives for him. Hallelujah. And he asked them to go out, hallelujah, because it was his custom, hallelujah, to go into the bushes to hunt birds. But there were a specific 
direction that was given hallelujah by the king to his representatives hallelujah for them to kill or to hunt a specific bird but there was one minister he went and did hallelujah the opposite of what was required he killed hallelujah another species of birds and when he came before the king the king was in wrath because he killed hallelujah a species that was not required hear he the word of the lord all your sins that you have committed God says, I'm going to expose you. Did you know that there was another earthquake that shook Jamaica one o'clock this morning, according to information? And as I began to do my research, that earthquake is symbolic to God's judgment. Glory be to God. When we look at Haiti, for example, Haiti had so many earthquakes before the judgment. My God took over the country and shook the country. Jamaica, you have violated spiritual laws and God is upset with the honorable my God Almighty, my God noble and holiness and this whole team. You should repent because something is getting ready to take place the lord told me that a tsunami get ready get ready jamaica there will be a tsunami 10 years now the lord has been giving me this vision of the tsunami that will take place in jamaica it will yo nothing don't happen by coincidence i'm sorry you hear the man say 10 year no 10 year no whoever is in this live stream right now that has not heard the prophecy of the tsunami that is coming for jamaica you hear the man say a four ago in sentence you know it's a 14 year no god i give me dream you know the vision you know for the tsunami you know 14 year how long ago that with that 2010 you know 2010, you know? From 2010. I'm going to tell you something when we get to understand about prophets. Prophets get vision and the spirit, the Almighty, the Creator, tell him, say, don't release it yet. And if they ever release it, a damnation for their life, they have to obey. It. And they know so they have to obey. It. So, a prophet will get a vision all long and the vision them just write down write down write down write down until it's time to reveal but we more to share with you right now ladies and gentlemen be sure you say that tsunami something there is <clears throat> not something we want to brush off the word is repent prepare pray repent prepare and educate all right that is the word nothing nothing will happen and a coincidence let me find the article can we start we start gets ah see it yeah? start get smart you know all i important piece them we make sure some of them ready in a file listen to this this is nationwide 19th of august of this year see it eh? Jamaica urged to brace for a potential magnitude 7 earthquake. Listen to this. Many Jamaicans in the eastern part of the country were shaken by a magnitude 5.3 earthquake at approximately 1 minute after 8 in the morning on Friday, August 16. Friday's quake rumbled a little over a year after Jamaica was struck by a magnitude 3.7 tremor on July 16, 2023. But it's the data regarding last Friday's earthquake that are worrying Professor Mitchell. Speaking Monday on Cliff Hughes Online, Professor Mitchell explained that the last two earthquakes may have placed stress on the fault lines in and around Jamaica. He says this added stress could lead to a massive earthquake in the future. The concern is that we might have a large earthquake um, coming off this structure. Now, we often hear about the Plantain Garden Fault, 
and its continuation towards the east. But there's a, probably a longer fault, at least for Jamaica, which is the south coast fault, which runs from offshore of St. Elizabeth all the way through to St. Thomas. And most of the time it's offshore, but it comes onshore in Clarendon, sort of north of Portland Ridge. And because that's a very long fall, it has the potential to produce very large earthquakes. If we see these sets of earthquakes pushing stress along, and if they are related, which seems to be a possibility, it could be adding stress to that fault. And if that fault was to move, we potentially could have a very large earthquake. While unable to predict exactly when that earthquake could hit the country, Professor Mitchell believes the country could be in for a quake of magnitude 7 or more. Now, it could be. It could be very in the very near future, or it could still be years away or decades away. A large one would be of the order of 7, which would be about 4, 500 times as much energy as the ones we're seeing at the present point in time. 500 times more? Yeah, it's a, it's a logarithmic scale. <laughs> So if we get up to the really high numbers, each one on, on the scale, the uh-huh. scale is 10 times. Worse than the, the um, lower one. So, you know, we're going from, you know, a four point something up to, say, a seven point something that we're talking. We're talking an awful lot of change, a hundred times, possibly more than that. And that is not something that would, well, it wouldn't go down very well with the country. Professor Mitchell says the public should make the necessary preparations in the event of a major earthquake. So we live in an earthquake zone and one day we will have something that big. Um, I think the important thing is to be wary when, when we start seeing a series of earthquakes moving like this. Are, are they precursors to something else? And I think it's worthwhile to raise that as an issue so that people can make plans mm-hmm. so that if the unthinkable does happen, at least people have a plan for what to do. Mahiri Stewart for Nationwide News. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, big up Miss Yotas, by the way. How you doing, Miss Yotas? So good to see you. <laughs> Miss Yotas in the building. One of my day ones right there, man. Shout out to Miss Yotas, man. Make sure y'all go sub up to Miss Yotas. You feel me? Sub up to Miss Yotas. At least go check her out because she has a lot of... Uh, Good information out there that we need to use to prepare ourselves for possibilities as I am just speaking of right now. All right? Trust me. Go check her out. I'm dropping a link right now. But let's continue. It was early in January. The Lord brought me into a vision and I saw the water rose up about 25 to 50 feet tall into the air in the north coast. And the water came over to land and hit land. My God, in a destructive manner, many bodies, dead bodies were floating on water. Dog, puss, cat, man, woman, children. My God, houses were, de- were, were ripped to pieces and destroyed. I was standing at cool laces and the water came under my feet in cool laces in brownstone same time. You hear that? For those who know Brownstone Center and those who know Cool Oasis, you literally have to travel up. If you go to Brownstone, you know, you're coming off of the flat and you have to travel up Figo Brownstone. So the man I tell us, say, in Pandi Illa Brownstone, the water they are where? Cool Oasis gas station. Guys, the man said him dream this 10 years ago. Envision this. The pastor, the apostle, the prophet. If this is your first time coming across this information, this is not for fear mongering. The Almighty sent prophets to warn so you can prepare. And all of the prophet and the prophetess that I've heard have the same vision. All of them have the same message. Repent. Put your house in order. That is it. So the Lord can protect you, his children that follow him. That's it. And it, it's not a Repentance off. You can't trick God. So if your repentance is not genuine, it not going to work. It has to be genuine repentance. Has to be. 
I am warning you. I recognize that you've been mocking my God. The prophets, the sons and daughters of God have been spoken and warning. The Bible said before judgment, he sent a warning. And if the prophet sees the judgment and warn the nation, he cut it up. Even the prophet will be destroyed. Remember that. The prophet has to tell you and warn you. I said that a while ago. The Bible says it. The prophet has to warn you. Brownstone is how much feet? 1,473 feet high. Guys, when I tell you it is not a... Listen, man. You, know, you can't imagine the other places down below that are not 1,473 feet high. A cooler Oasis gas station, the man saying. Just Google where Cool Oasis gas station is in, 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 in Brownstone. That is almost the peak of Brownstone. Because when you go into Brownstone, you still can go up more in terms of communities. But that is almost the peak. I am presently coming from an organization i went to pray for some folks because of the fear of the corona and i sat in the office praying with a young lady and and the spirit of the lord came upon me and i felt a rumbling my god took place with my in my body like a thunder and a rumbling like an earthquake was shaking i said to the young lady did you feel that she said no pastor you sure i said maybe it is a spirit what i realized every time that the earthquake is about to shake jamaica a few it in the spirit but the good thing in the natural every earthquake that came to jamaica i haven't felt it everybody running up and down saying that they have felt it i haven't to god be the glory great things he has done and i'm telling jamaica in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god repent for the kingdom of god is at hand we look at the word wolf there can be little doubt that the wolf of the Palestine is a common canis lopus and that this is the animal so frequently mentioned in the Bible. The wolf is a fierce animal of the same species as the dog which is resembles which, which, which is in resemblance. The common color is gray with a tightening and of a frown and their ear as long as black and the Syrian wolf is of the lighter color than the shepherd. Hallelujah. The Bible said that there are wolves in sheep clothing. Jamaica is in trouble because of our present government who have signed mm. papers and mm. came into agreement with evil men and God the Samoa agreement is upset and more because of our present government who have signed papers and came into agreement with evil men and God is upset I believe that God will be intercepting my card this election God is getting at you most honorable noble and jewelness okay so it's confirmed that this was before the election this was before the election and he said he believed that God is going to intercept him. He never said that God showed him that he would intercept him. See, a lot of people don't listen, you know. Not everything that the, prof that the prophet says, when they hear them say it was revealed to them, when they hear, that is a revelation. When they hear them say they have a prophecy, they, they are going to state it. You have to listen. So this might be one of the videos that people saw from the pastor, the prophet, the apostle, Peter Chambers. And then them start to bash him and say fake. When Andrew win his second election. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay, we are unraveling some things here, man, from this one little video. Very interesting. God said, I'm going to show you who I am, that you are just a man. He cut out of Abashanda. My God, you are my God. He is the God of all flesh. Every knee must bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Who the Babashanda? Jesus. At one point, he called them wolves. At one point, he called them dogs. 
and some of you talking about hallelujah how i come down with my message is as if i don't have any love jesus himself called the hypocrites dog and sorcerers he called them kevin slater subscribe to the channel hey salute to kevin slater and all the other new subs salute the now listen if that notification was accurate i wouldn't have any uh, the stream would be cut off every second because literally what i'm seeing is for the last few days it's like a hundred persons is subscribing each day glory be to the most high it has nothing to do with me only god all the glory i got the word may i tell you is literally 100 person a day subscribe to each channel so when i'm live that notification i could do me live right now better i'm turn it off i make it mute <laughs> i swear any love jesus himself called the hypocrites dog and sorcerers he called them wolves who the baba in sheep clothing who the baba shanda and jamaica is at the verge of a mighty fall jamaica will be ridden from there my god the independency because mm. of the decision of this man mm. of the decision of the honorable noble and jewelness mm. but the lord said that the foundation in which you stand will be shaken by the power of the blood who the baba shatter a earthquake is getting ready the sheep, the foundation of Kingston, Rakatalaba, and the political house, a tsunami will be coming to Jamaica. Just say the Lord. The Lord keeps speaking to you. You see that earthquake they were shaky political house? It up my already, you know, 5.2. When they be there in a parliament, 5.2. It up my already. I do want me do one live. Me do one me do one live both you. I do one video both you. Me post it, yeah. For those who are watching all of my videos, you know. To my heart to tell the people of Jamaica run to the mountains he cut out about shy run to the mountains but run to the mountains <laughs> yo man listen because judgment is at hand repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. The Bible declares that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Bible declares there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. The Bible told us in the great book, my God, he that believe it and is baptized shall be saved. The Bible declares by the great book, who the Baba Shanda, no man can enter, my God, unless he comes through the Son, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God and she shall bring forth a son and his name shall be called Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved I am calling my car to the people of St. Andrews St. Catherine I am calling to the people of Jamaica in Clarendon in Manchester in St. Elizabeth my car in Westmoreland and over St. James Trelawney I'm calling on the people of St. Anne repent judgment is knocking at the door in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God calling and saying Mary you better repent Saint Mary I saw the water rising my God like a monster in Saint Mary oh, be a man which my God warlocks an astrologer the judgment of God is coming to this land unless we repent we shall all likewise perish but if my people that are called by my name he cut the power of god is all over my life he cut my god if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves mm. will submit themselves mm. will sur back to that again humble jamaica we're not humble we are not humble this word has been coming up for the past two days humility we are not humble. We are not humble. We are boastful. Because we have been spoiled. As Sister Kerian would say. We are God's people but to spoiled. God has been protecting this little rock. For many many years. And we have not given anything God back. We have spat in God's face. 
we're not living right. I mean, notice we say we, we are not living right. We spit in our God face. God protect we, God love we, God make sure so we have food close by our back. Right? If, 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 if we were to start to, to, to count the many provisions that God has put on this earth for us, me guarantee you say, you would have encyclopedias. Because what you would have to do is understand in detail how God made this earth so perfect for us to live and inhabit. All of them are talk about climate change. Mankind do that. Tell me, I tell you that. Mankind is doing these things. Whether we are pollute the ocean or otherwise, a mankind do these things. It's not God doing it. Humility. That the word that come up a lot from what they are. Humility. Land, unless we repent, we shall all likewise perish. But if my people that are called by my name, the power of God is all over my life. My God, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves, will submit themselves, will surrender, will relinquish themselves and pray and seek my face and turn. Jamaica need to turn. I cry out from the depth of my heart. Jamaica land we love. Ah, the anthem declares eternal father, bless this land. And guide us with thy mighty hand keep us from all evil power who is Amen. it that you're seeking to protect you but many of you in jamaica you're gone to the barnyard you're mm. gone to the obia man mm. you take island powder some of you looking down into crystal ball you mm. turn from the god that you once knew there is a shaking over this land repent hallelujah honorable desmond mckenzie the Lord says repent of your sins because I the Lord God will begin to expose you of all the evil and the sins that you have committed in wow. secrecy in confidentiality but God says set your house in order because wow. I the Lord God is coming at you there is a disgrace that will be hitting you very soon wow. the Lord said repent for the kingdom of God is at hand hallelujah so there are wolves in sheep clothing trying to eat out the people of Jamaica. And your honorable, most noble and Jehovah's have sold out Jamaica to the Illuminati, to mm. the One World Order. Mm. And I believe that the people of Jamaica should rise up and vote against you. And take you out from your throne, rid you from your throne. I am declaring on this medium that God will remove the scales from even the hypocrites and the old bear workers. God let them see whatever you have been showing me. He cut out of a sanda, Makura Baba Sata, Mataraba, most honorable noble and Jonas. Repent! Hallelujah! And I have a word for your wife, Juliet Coolness. The next video that I will be doing, Juliet Coolness, hallelujah, and honorable Michael Juliet Cuthbert, what? I am coming. The Lord gave me a word, and I will be speaking without fear or favor because I've got a God who never fails. He protects, he covers. Let me declare to you it was Thursday at our fasting service. A young man showed up at our fasting service. Look, suspicious hallelujah but the lord told me while i was praying in the morning about three o'clock that a spy would be coming to our fasting service he sat on the right side on my the rostrum hallelujah to the congregation and the lord told me to ask him who sent you is it andrew holes and the dopey and the gunman who sent you the people who were in the fasting they said the man began to tremble and he began to sweat like rain falling in the in the fasting service mm. and i tell you touch not the lord's anointed and do his prophet no harm uh -huh. you can't touch the man of god because there are angels he ran out of the fasting service for his life i dare you by the power of the blood some of you looking somebody to be afraid of you this man of god is not afraid of anyone
Buddha Baba Shanda. Mm. I am not afraid of your gunman. I'm not afraid of your hitman. I'm not afraid of the most honorable noble and Jehovah's. I'm not afraid of your laws. I'm not afraid of the demons, the large demons, the, the spirits of the occult and the underworld. I'm not afraid of the voodoo priest. I'm not afraid of the Obia priest. The Katalaba, the Obia man that is standing behind your cabinet. But I kill that man for the power, the blood, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thus, say the Lord. Minister Desmond Mackenzie, hallelujah, your portion is just about to strike in your territory. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Hey, hey, uh... Any family members of Desmond McKenzie watching? You don't have to say anything. Oh, if he didn't get this message four years ago, uh, yeah, uh, share this live. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to share this live. I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to put the link to the video itself so we can listen it uninterrupted without my commentary. Lord have mercy. Oh my goodness. Nah, his name came up too much. Boy, I don't know. Hey, Desmond, boy, I don't know what you're doing, boy, but God knows. Uh, yeah. I just dropped the link. Hey, that is the link to the video that I just reacted to. Go and share that with Desmond McKenzie. If he did not get the message, oh, there's no repentance in the grave. This is love. Share that with him, please. Share that video with him. I don't know if Andrew Ellis is ever going to repent. I know he got the message because he's locked into social media. I know he knows what the pastor said because he's watching the pastor. But Desmond, thus saith the Lord. Not my word. Thus saith the Lord. Not my word. Mighty God. 